G'day mate and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, JD. So last episode we set up a, a we set up the polymer press and we set up active cooling for it. There were just two things that I overlooked at the time. One was we have a lot of hot plastic right here that we weren't actively cooling in any way. So I just moved the radiant pipe rather than going straight across down a tile. And the other thing we should really do is we should put a temp shift plate behind it. Um, it's not going to make a massive difference straight away because um, obviously there's there's 1.2 tons of plastic in that one tile um, but slowly over time it will eventually cool it down at the same time I have we're, we're now pumping hydrogen um, into the area and at the same time we're also pumping carbon dioxide all the way up here which again small overlook I should really be pumping the carbon dioxide all the way down here or maybe out into this biome it really doesn't matter and not trying to pump it up where we have two gas um gas vents trying to compete for for the pressure basically um slowly this will fill up with hydrogen over time which will give us more active cooling um in this area and as you can see we've already had ice melt in the corner so we're just going to refill those two tiles. In fact, that one is already probably above its melting point. 0.06. Uh, I put the two tiles in it started going down in temperature, but it will melt eventually. Um, hot machinery just has that effect. Uh, even the other polymer press, even with the active cooling, is at 20 odd degrees. And this is set to not release till it's 30. So we could try and we could hell let's do it let's bring it down to zero um because this is essentially free cooling um in this area how long is that polymer press 26 degrees let's say minus 2 and you're set to minus 20 now so we'll just take some more temperature off the top Okay, on top of that, I've had duplicates come down here to sort of wrangle out the last bits of crap that we've had down here. I've been down here manually teleporting stuff out. Um, ideally, what I should do is I should actually lower the temperature in this room because the duplicates are coming here and they're scalding themselves going through this room. So I should really take this temperature down to... Um, mm, Let me see. This is at 60 degrees, so probably around about 20 degrees. Um, and just have it actively cool over and over and over to try and bring the temperature of this room down so the duplicates can get in here, clear the room out um, of any debris that are still down here um, without scalding themselves. So we have had a couple of them scald themselves. So we'll just deal with that really quickly. Um, and this is, again, one of the reasons why, although we probably only need two med beds on a normal day, um, I've got room for five, so I put in five. Uh, we want learning plus five, construction plus two, and cooking plus five to all be assigned to beds so they can heal up. Uh, we're going to take on a new duplicate because we can. Um, we really want somebody who is good at ranching. Okay, so divers lungs means they produce, they, they consume less oxygen uh, and germ resistant means they're less likely to get sick. For the particular type of ranching we're gonna be doing shortly, um, Frankie's probably a good choice. I'm gonna put him down at ranching with an N plus one. Uh, Germ resist, okay. Germ resist. Got to skip a few letters here. Um, actually, ranch plus one is more more than enough. Uh, germ resist, okay. So we're gonna print off a Frankie. Uh, we're gonna give him a job straight away. So, strength plus three is finish the gopher job. Uh, 
going to move them up. We're going to move them straight across to being a farmhand. We want to go farmhand over to ranching as soon as possible um, because we are going to move into ranching in the future. The other thing I did just really, really quickly is we had shine bugs and shine nifts automatically being dropped off down here. Um, if we go over to our room overlay, anything where we have a um, a critter drop off and we use the auto wrangle tool, we can get critters automatically picked up from one spot and dropped off into another. Um, there is a maximum size it drags out to and I could obviously put in a door here to, to make this a room which is possibly, I think it's definitely needed. Room overlay, oh, room overlay, yeah, miscellaneous room. So sometimes rooms can be way too big. Um, we want to try and, miscellaneous rooms definitely help. And this means that my hat should now get dropped back down here. Um, at the same time, we've had a couple of these shine nymphs being wandering into different rooms and being picked up. So I've had them get dropped down here where there is some food for them on the ground, the phosphorite, um, along with our uh, auto sweeping it into here whenever we sweep it up. And I've put some doors on there just to shut them in. Just, I don't want them floating all over the base. I'd really like them semi-isolated and semi-contained. Um, okay, so the other thing I want, really want to try and get done this, this episode, because we've been a little bit mean to the dupes, is I want to give them a recreational room and a massage clinic because they're two rooms we, we, we just haven't covered yet and sort of at this point in the game they're probably rooms that you've you've had to um, come up with to either relieve stress um, or, or give that extra morale boost so the first one we're going to do is a massage clinic which is a minimum of 12 tiles so it's a pretty small room um, and it just has to have a massage table and a decor item pretty simple so we're gonna go into furniture uh, we're gonna grab a massage table no actually it's on the stations no utilities medicine and I've got a couple of options. I can either put a massage room here, or I can put a massage room in a deck or in a, in a, in a uh, whatever the other room's called, a recreational room. Now, recreational room can be 64 tiles, which is this size. Um, it's actually slightly larger. Um, the massage clinic, for this particular playthrough, I'm gonna use a really, really small room. Um, I just don't think we'll need the extra space. Um, but we'll have it there in case we really, really, really stress out a duplicate. So we're going to drop down a massage table. Um, same time, we're going to give it a couple of doors. So it does become a room. Uh, and we're almost there. Room size 16. The only other thing we need to do is... Uh, there it is. Crown molding. Right across the top. Boom! Quickest, easiest room ever done. Um, we could a always add more in there, but it's going to give a uh, a buff to stress reduction. Um, the only thing, other thing we need to do is to make sure that our dupes actually stay in the room is to hook up the power. So we're just going to run the power into there. We do want to set this if it's still possible. No, nope. it doesn't have a priority anymore. Um, so when they get 50% stress, they'll get on the massage table and then they'll get off the massage table when their stress gets to zero. I normally like sitting at about 10% just so they get off a little bit early because chances are when they go home nap or sleep or anything like that, that'll reduce it the rest of the way. Um, the only other thing we really need to do is just give this room a quick sweep. So we're done. As for our recreational room, Okay, it needs a recreational building with no industrial machinery, machinery and a decor item. We've already got up our crown uh, molding, so that already gives us the recreational boon, uh, room bonus. 
Um, you know what? We'll actually just knock the wall out a couple more tiles. Done. Let's give us. We might as well have all the space. Uh, we want furniture, crown molding in there. Just a little bit of a sweep down here in the corner. And. Stations, furniture, it's in a furniture. So the only item we have so far is a water cooler. Okay. So we can put that in. We did have a recreational room much earlier in the game. Um, with just a water cooler in it, but it actually became part of our great hall. Um, having a rec room on top of that is really not a bad idea. Uh, and as for extra recreational things, where are they? So we've got an espresso machine all the way up here. Um, it is a great little thing to have. It is also quite expensive in both power to run and... Um, it also requires a water connection and pinch of peppers to make coffee. So, probably wouldn't one I'd recommend early on. Um, we do have a jukebox. All right, um, so we're going to grab that one really quickly. And... There we go, an arcade cabinet. So that's after lots more automation. Uh, and then we go up to... Um, really really some really really high tech stuff to get you um the arcade cabinet it's probably recommended that you will get there eventually um and and just leave some space to whack in the arcade cabinet afterwards um for our purposes we're going to grab that straight away so furniture wise jukebox which requires 960 watts of power also puts out 1000 duplicate thermal units of heat it gives plus two to morale compared to uh, the water cooler which does plus one so it is a significant step up it's also very very expensive to run um, so it will require a, a more stable power connection to actually run um, the arcade machine is even worse it's 1.2 kilowatts worth of power to run with 4,000 duplicate units worth of uh, worth of power for the same plus two morale. Now, the morales do stack. If they go to a water cooler, then to a jukebox, and then to an arcade cabinet, they can walk away with plus five morale. So, onto our power grid, we need to slide this somewhere. Um, technically, we could probably run one on each power grid, and that's probably what we're gonna do. So let's just undo those power wires real quick. We're gonna run our crappy wire down there. We're going to run this one into that cabinet. Uh, and did I get that around the right way? No, I didn't. Uh, deconstruct. So, this is our main power grid, which we're definitely short of power on. Uh, this is our secondary grid, which has a lot of bonus power as long as we don't try and run smelting at the same time as anything else. It has plenty of power left over. Um, but with those two items powered up, uh, and again, the same story, just give it a general sweep. Um, on top of that, we, look, we unlock the virtual planetarium, which is another science item. We'll get to that much later. Uh, we did open up... A lot of more smart systems. So we've got an AND gate, OR gate, XOR gate, NOT gate, which we've actually already used once um, by mistake. A buffer gate and a filter gate. Again, we've used one of them by mistake. Um, I didn't realize they were that high up the tech tree. Yep, they got moved. They used to be down here. Um, so yeah, we have two more buffs to our... Two more buffs to our duplicates... Um, morale bonus okay on top of it because it's in a recreational room they also get a morale bonus from the actual room so it can really really add up uh, morale one for a duplicate uh decor one for barracks 
two shift breaks plus one, standard meal plus four, washroom plus two, shower plus three. Uh, I didn't realize showering actually added so much more out. So now we just got to wait for somebody to have break time, which is way later in the day. Um, at which point we can see how the recreational room works. Uh, the other thing is now that we have plastic, um, that's not something I really want to cover in episode, but it's something you guys can definitely do now. I would. No, we don't have plastic. Really? We definitely have plastic, but we can't use it. That's tubes, plastic ladder, drywall, comfy bed, plastic top. Okay, so let's do. Let's do that research real quick. Uh, so, plastics, now that we've got them, gives you a lot more advanced technology, okay? Um, we've had our tiles up until now with a uh, decker of plus five with a run speed of 25. We can put down plastic tiles now. And if I turn off creative mode, you can just fast replace these items. Um, they do take a hundred plastic each tile. So you can see I've got 1,600 uh, tiles worth, uh, 600, 1,600 uh, kilograms worth of plastic. So that means I can only at this stage replace 16 tiles with plastic tiles. Um, the faster run speed is definitely a bonus. On top of that um, is a mild anesthetic and can help limit the spread of germs in a colony. They are very, very good at uh, reducing the germ transfer rate. So if I had um, too much slime up against the wall, I could definitely replace that with plastic and the germs wouldn't penetrate into that plastic nearly as well as what they do currently. Um, same time, we also get access to a plastic ladder. Um, same story, you know, this got a decker of minus five, this got a decker of minus five, but it has a run speed bonus of 20% which is a significant amount when you start really looking at it. Um, oh, I didn't put down more. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and I should technically be out of... Did we miss rec time? We did. We did. Furniture, that one, that one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, we'll just have to run through to tomorrow. Actually, let's look at some morales. Uh, morale! Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Really? Nobody went to the rec room? Uh, vitals. Morale. Great hall, last decor, uh, last cycle's decor, standing meal, showered. That's your downtime. Nobody bothered. I guess they can't find out where things are because they're duplicates and they can't path there obviously um there is no priorities apart from this one which is fill it up with water why are there slime on germs in the water i'm not sure zero germs yet the water they found in here has slime lung in it I don't know where you guys get your water from. Scolding, who is it this time? Oh. Overheat temperature. Let's 
Get it back to 60 degrees. If it's above 60 degrees? None of that's above. Okay, maybe it is above. I think it's probably cycling too fast. And we probably don't have quite enough power on the grid. Forty odd degrees. Forty degrees. Forty degrees. Sixty degrees. Pass straight back out through the system. It's a hundred and something degrees in there. Why so hot? The oil is at a hundred degrees. Okay, so we're going to change it to that. I'm going to pump all the oil out. hopefully get rid of some of that heat um, yeah there's plenty of things you can change and as simple as just pumping out the hot oil um, might be all you need um, it might be a case of we just don't we don't have nearly enough cooling down here um, that could be the other thing because that gas pipe is at like 100 degrees Celsius um, I don't know if we're winning this or losing it um, it's all passing through at 60 odd degrees. So I think maybe we've reached the thermal threshold for what we have, and we need to introduce more hydrogen into the system, hydrogen into the system, um, which we can do. It just means that we risk shutting off this system because we don't have any spare hydrogen at the top at, at this point. Um, where are we in our cycle? There we go. Hopefully everybody comes up during the downtime and comes and plays with the jukebox and the arcade table. Because that's really what I want to show to, to end out this episode. Um, another quick look at this. Uh, it's down to 50 odd degrees. 67, 45. It looks like a simple ventilation gas bridge. We'll just put that... Ooh. That in there for the moment. I'll add more to the system. So we've all got more chairs. We're all got better quality food. You like the refrigerator, you like the refrigerator, you like the food. Fridge, love, something, something, something. Bad fridge. Great food. Everybody hates the food. You're wondering what sleep weed is. You're wondering what that is. Uh, kindness plus four is beaten up to hell. Which sucks because you're our doctor. And everybody's going to bed already. Yeah, okay. So, my answer is my downtime is actually not long enough for them to get from wherever they are. Depending on which schedule they're on. Yeah, some of them are working. Some of them are in theory in bed. So they should be able to get up here fairly quickly. And some of them are in bath time. So my break time's not long enough that they can actually use the recreational room. Um, a lot of it's down to this long commutes. Which just means that they are pathing too far. Um, but in saying that, most days we're adding a few chores. Not many. Um... And we are, we're, we're adding a lot of chores. We are subtracting them. We're not really getting ahead. And this is one of the reasons I'm taking on more duplicates. Um, our travel time is ridiculous. And a lot of that comes down to it's farming supply, cook supply, store granite, store, store, store. A lot of them are purely just the amount of, of sweeping we are doing, just getting stuff into storage because it's 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 like down here and it's it's over here and it's it's food all the way out here um which just comes down to the way we're playing um with creative mode and the fact that i'm i'm doing things very very quickly and therefore it takes time for it to be reflected in game and have the duplicates catch up anyway we have our recreational room we have our massage room our stress is still at pretty much nothing all our duplicates are perfectly happy and our fridges are absolutely full so yeah 
Um, I think it's going to be time to cut out more farms and we'll worry about that in the next episode. Anyway, I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching as always. I um, do hope you're enjoying this little tutorial series. And in the next episode, I'm really hoping we can cover some really in-depth ranching ideas. Um, either way, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.